From 1999 to about 2002, we're the biggest band in the world. Nobody thought it was going to be as big as it was. The best-selling boy band in history. Then it just stopped. I brought the idea to the guys and it obviously evolved into something bigger. But in my mind, I really wanted to sort of remind people, you know, what we have done and what we've gone through. And um, sort of, in a lot of ways, you know, we've heard from some people that it's actually humanized us. Going back now, I think, really brought us closer. And it was really therapeutic for each of us, you know, for us to be able to exercise vulnerability in those, in those moments, Kevin being where you know he grew up and where his father passed away. Brian to go back and you know talk to his chorus teacher and go back to the church and Howie back in Orlando and myself with my teachers, Nick with his teacher, that was a huge inspiration for him. And it was just a really awesome journey. They didn't have a name at the time and I didn't know, but it was a showcase that Lou had financed and Lou had been working with them. It was almost like a betrayal. You know, when we started out, we're like, yeah, we're a team, and we're gonna take over the world, and there's, you know, there's nobody like us. Then you find out, well, actually, there is somebody like you. The best and worst for me of the film is just that, is like reliving all of it. Because <clears throat> as great as it was, it's still troublesome for for me as an individual to look back and think, wow, I thought I'd moved on. And then when you relive it, it's like, it brings up all these emotions. So it is really the best and worst for me to go through. So I cry every time I watch it, <laughs> and I've seen it multiple times. We've seen the best and the worst of each other. I'm not afraid of you anymore. 20 years is a long time for anybody, let alone a five, bunch of dorks jumping around on stage singing and dancing.